Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, today we're going to begin our study on buildings. We will learn all about buildings and the parts of buildings. In Spanish, we say edificios. Edificios means buildings. Uh, I wanted to show you a book that I bought um, several years ago, 13 Buildings That Children Should Know. One of the very oldest buildings in the whole world is located in Egypt, and it is a pyramid. And I wanted to show you the pyramid. This is called the Great Pyramid of Giza. The Great Pyramid of Giza. This pyramid was built over 4,000 years ago. It was built entirely from rocks and stone. So we, they, may, they do believe that this may be the oldest building in the entire world. This is the Great Pyramid of Giza. Once we get back in the classroom, I want to put this book in the library so that everybody can have a chance to look at all the different buildings in the world. There are many beautiful buildings. But today, I wanted to start by reading a book about buildings, The Three Little Pigs. This is a book that you may have heard of before. It's a book about three little pigs that lived with their mother and the mother thought that they were getting too old and they needed to grow up and go out on their own and build houses of their own to live in. So let's read about the three little pigs. This book is retold by Bonnie Dobkin, illustrated by Subhash Bajad. I think I'm saying that right. All right, so we have the three little pigs. This book is a fairy tale, which means that there's something about this book that wouldn't be true because pigs don't really live in houses. So let's start this book, The Three Little Pigs. The Three Little Pigs, and you see their mother, and you see the three pigs. One, two, three. Once upon a time, three little piglets lived in a small, cozy home with their mother. Their names were Porter, Perry, and Parker. All of those names begin with a P. Porter, Perry, and Parker. Porter was a relaxed sort of pig. He liked to play, eat, and sleep. This must be Porter. Perry was a creative type of pig. He had lots of ideas, but he didn't always finish what he started. And Parker was a thoughtful little pig who worked hard and did everything just the way he was supposed to. This kind of annoyed his two brothers. Annoyed means they'd get a little bit upset with him. He, as you can see, he's making a building right here with blocks like we have in the classroom. He's making a building, isn't he? Well, the three little piglets got older and older and bigger and rounder. One day, their mother said to them, You've grown too big for this little house, she said. It's time for you all to go off into the wide, wide world and build homes of your own. So, the three pigs 
packed their bags and got ready to leave their too cozy home. Any advice for us, mother? asked Parker. That means, does she have anything to tell them as they start off on their journey out on their own? Why, yes, said their mother. Watch out for that no good, big, bad wolf who's always skulking around. It means she's telling them to beware because there's a wolf that's always um, around in their town and he may be dangerous for them. And remember, she said, always work hard. Remember to plan and whatever you do, do the best that you can. So there they go. You see mama, the mother's waving goodbye to them. The three little pigs kissed their mother goodbye. Then they trotted out of the house, down the road, and out of the village. A village is a little, it's a small town. What do you think they're carrying in the little bags that they have hanging on the sticks? Do you think they have food? Maybe they took clothes with them. Before they had gone very far, they came to a big field full of golden haystacks. You know, said Porter quickly, I think I'll build my house of straw. It's a nice color and the house will be very easy to build. So he's taking the easy way and he's going to build his house with straw or hay. I'm not sure this is a good plan, said his brother Parker. Will it be warm enough? Will it keep you out of the rain? What will happen when the wind is strong? Porter rolled his eyes. It will be a great house, he said and I'll still have time to play when I'm done. Then good luck to you, said Perry and Parker, and they continued down the road. Soon, Parker and Perry came to a shady grove of trees. You know, said Perry, I think I'll build my house of logs. Logs come from trees and trees are strong and I can paint them different colors. That sounds like a good plan, said his brother Parker, if you finish what you start. I will, said Perry, and he waved as Parker continued down the road. So the brothers are not going to live together in the same house. They're each deciding to build their own house. Perry stood and looked up at the trees. Hmm, he said. Cutting down those trees would take a long time. I'll just build my house from the sticks on the ground instead. And that's exactly what he did. Well, further down the road, Parker was busily planning his house. He bought bricks and stone and mortar for the walls. He bought strong oak planks for the doors. He knew that what he was buying would make a very strong house. He worked on the house for days and days and days, but when he was done, he felt happy. Mother would be proud, he said. I worked hard and I built a very sturdy house. So he thinks his house will be the safest house. Now, 
What none of the pigs knew was that someone very bad had been watching them. And who do you think that someone was? Yes, it was the no good, big, bad wolf. Remember their mother warned him, warned the boys about the pig. I mean, I'm sorry, about the wolf. She said, watch out for the big bad wolf. Well, first the wolf went to Porter's house. He saw bundles of hay held together by rope. And he saw Porter Pig outside napping in the sun. Hello, pig said the wolf. Porter opened his eyes and he screamed and he jumped up. He ran into his house, pushed the door shut and he hid under his bed. Now, now, said the wolf, I only want to have a little talk with you. Huh, said Porter, I know a hungry wolf when I see one. My mother told me to be careful that you would come around. I know that you're a dangerous wolf. It doesn't really matter, said the wolf. So the wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Are you kidding, said Porter? Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. The wolf stepped back. Then he huffed and he puffed and he blew with all his might. The straw house fell apart. The wolf pounced, the pig bounced. But Porter squealed and he ran. Hmm, said the wolf. Unfortunate. So that means he didn't really catch the little pig, did he? The, the pig got away. The next day, the wolf decided to try again. He strolled down the road until he saw a house made of sticks and twigs. Perry was lying in a hammock outside. Hello, my little piggy, said the wolf. Perry jumped up in fright. He ran inside his shaky house and pushed a dresser against the door. <gasps> he was scared. Ha, <sighs> said the wolf. Does he think that's really going to help to keep me out? He said again to the second pig, little pig, little pig, let me in. No way, said Perry, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. The wolf said, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. The wolf stepped back and he took two huffs and he took two puffs. Then he blew with all his might. Look what happened. Sticks and twigs twirled in the air. The wolf pounced, the pig bounced, but Perry squealed and he ran and he just got away just in time before the wolf got him. This just won't do, said the wolf, feeling frustrated. But the wolf knew there was still one more brother so, he went down the road until he saw a house made of some bricks. Parker was digging in his garden outside. Hello, my little friend, my little pig. I'm not your friend, said Parker. Leave now or you'll be sorry. Hmm, I doubt it, said the wolf. What do you think he's going to try to do now? Parker went inside and slammed the door. He heard three locks locking 
and four shutters slamming, and he stood back. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Remember what the wolf says? Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Remember, he already blew down two houses. Go ahead and try, said Parker. The wolf huffed three times, and he puffed three times. Then he blew with all his might, as hard as he could. Nothing happened. That's not a surprise to Parker. But the wolf was surprised that the house didn't fall in. Now he huffed four times and he puffed four times and he blew again with all his might, even harder this time. He was sure that this house would fall in. Still nothing. The wolf kept trying again and again. This is not going the way I expected. This house should fall down. Why do you think that the house is not falling down? This house is strong because he built it from bricks. Bricks are like really strong rocks, right? You see a lot of houses made from bricks and buildings. Well, finally the wolf fell flat on his back. He was so tired. The pig, Parker, put his head out the window and he said to the wolf, I knew my house would not fall down. I'm just glad he didn't think of coming up the chimney. And he shut the window. The chimney. The wolf had an idea. Yes, I can go in through the chimney. He sneaked to the side of the house and saw a pile of boxes stacked up against the wall. This makes it even easier. This is like a ladder. He got on top of the boxes. He got to the roof, to the top of the roof, and he crawled over to the chimney. He started to, to go down inside the chimney to get inside the house. Well, <clears throat> but down below, water was bubbling in a big black kettle that was in the fireplace. The fireplace had a fire inside that was raging hot. Parker threw more wood onto the fire. Here I come, little pig. I'm ready to eat you up. Oh, no, you don't, said Parker. The wolf landed in the kettle with a loud kerplunk. Water steamed and boiled around him. The wolf howled in pain and shot right back up the chimney. Ow! He went back up the chimney as fast as he could go. The water had boiled off half of his fur. Oh no, cried the wolf. He was so embarrassed that he left the country never to be seen again. Porter and Perry moved in with their brother and they lived happily ever after in the brick house. Did you like this story, boys and girls? The story of the three little pigs? Did you like this story? Did you not like this story? Or did you like it a little bit? This is just the first book that we're going to be reading as we study buildings. 
When we go back to the classroom, we will be making buildings out of straw and sticks and some things that are sort of like bricks. So we can have a lot of fun when we go back to school. See you later, boys and girls. See you tomorrow.